Welcome to DHS Informatics. In this video, we are going to see the demonstration on air quality prediction using machine learning. This project help us to know the quality of the air. We are inspired by the paper titled as Air Quality Monitoring and Classification Using Machine Learning, which is published in the year 2020. Project with two techniques, one with Jupyter Notebook, which is basically a backend, and another with Flask, which is frontend part. In Jupyter Notebook, we will load the data, we will do the pre-processing techniques, we will train the model and we will test the model and finally we will save the model. This is how the Jupyter Notebook will look like. First, we are importing all the necessary libraries here. After that, data set will be loaded. Here you can see our data set consists of 29,531 rows along with 16 columns. After loading the data, we will do, we will apply the pre-processing technique. First, we are checking if there is any null value present in our data set. As you can see, there are null values present in our data set. So, we are dropping those null values. After dropping the null values, now we have 16,984 rows along with 11 columns. And these are the labels. There are six labels in our project. Good, moderate, poor, satisfactory, severe and very poor. There are 5,943 records in moderate, 5,385 records in satisfactory. Like that we will, here we are displaying all the number of records according to the, corresponding to the labels after that we are drawing the graph here the number of samples versus targets and this is the another visualization which are here we are using pie chart to know the percentage like 34.99 percentage of uh, record are moderate 4.67 or good 6.4 are severe, 10.42% 10, 10 is very poor, like that we are, we can get to know from this chart. And we are finding the outliers using box plot here. We are dropping the outliers. Data oversampling will be done. After data oversampling, now we have totally 5,941 records in each labels. For that we are drawing one visualization here. As you can see number of record versus classes. Now each classes have equal number of records that is 5,941 records. After this data splitting will be done. Our data will be split into X test, Y test, X train and Y train. Here in this project, we are going to use two algorithms. The first one is random forest. We will build, build the random forest mo model. After that, it, these are the predicted value of random forest and these are the true values. We will compare these two values. Finally, we are getting 98.98% of accuracy of, from the random forest model. This is the classification report of random forest model and this is how the confusion matrix will look like. Finally, we will save the random forest model. Next, we are moving to the next algorithm that is support vector machine. After building the model, these are the predicted value given by the model and these are the true values. We will compare these two values and uh, we will get the accuracy. Here we are getting the accuracy of 97.90 percentage. And 
and this is the classification report and this is the confusion matrix of support vector machine finally we will save this model as you can see random forest is giving more accuracy when compared to support vector machine in this project this is about the back end part that is jupyter notebook now we are going for front end this is how the front end will look like first we need to register we need to enter one name first name and last name after that we need to create mail id and we need to select the gender and we need to create one password for that particular mail id and click on register after registration uh, login form will open we need to enter the same mail id and password which has been created and we need to give login after this these are the necessary information we need to give as an input we need to enter pm 2.5 value we need to enter no value nh3 value n0x value cvo value s42 value o3 value like this we need to give the input after that we need to click on submit based on our input it is uh, saying uh, the air is belongs to class name good result is 100% the air quality is saying it is good this is about this project in dhs informatics we are giving the project to very reasonable price and help you until the last phase of your project reviews so please contact us at 9845166723 9886629201 we also provide the quality report and we will do the installation support along with the pptts for more details you can contact us at whatsapp or you can walk into office If you like this video please like comment and subscribe thank you